Hello everyone. There is no denying the fact that mobile phones are vital for human life now. As much as modern technology is advancing, the need to own a smartphone is becoming a necessity. But do you really know how mobile phones work? Well, if you don't, then stick around because this is what we are going to talk about in this video. Ready? Let's begin and explore the technology behind mobile communication. At the most basic level, mobile phones work by sending and receiving low power radio signals, much like a two-way radio system. When you speak on a mobile phone, a microphone in the handset converts your voice into digital signals. A microchip inside the phone turns these signals into numbers such as ones and zeros. Then these numbers are packed up into electromagnetic waves and beamed out from the phone's antenna. After that, electromagnetic waves created by your mobile phone are picked up by the cell tower located in your area and convert them into high frequency light pulses. These light pulses are sent to the base transceiver box located at the base of your cell tower by using an optical fiber cable for further signal processing. After processing, your voice signals are routed onwards to the destination tower. When the destination tower receives the light pulses, it radiates them outwards in the form of electromagnetic waves and the other person's mobile phone then receives the signals. These signals go through the reverse process and then your friend can hear your voice. So this is how basically mobile phones work. Now here is an important part of the topic. How does your mobile tower know in which cell tower area your friend is located? Well, this is done with the help of MSE, also known as Mobile Switching Center. MSE is the central control point for a group of cell towers. Let's go a little more deeper into it. When you purchase a new SIM card, all the information such as service plan, current location and activity status is registered in a specified MSE. This MSE is called your Home MSE. When you move outside the range of your home MSC, the new MSC which serves you instead is called a foreign MSC. When you enter a foreign MSC, it communicates with your home MSC. Now here is an important point to note, your home MSC always knows in which MSC area you are located. In foreign MSC, your mobile phone is registered temporarily so you can make and receive calls from outside the home MSC. Alright, I hope you got this right. Now you must be thinking about how does MSE help you to make a call, right? Let's understand with an example. Let's say Michael wants to call his girlfriend Sarah. He dials her number and the call request arrives at Michael's home MSE. After receiving Sarah's number, request is forwarded to the Sarah's home MSE. Now Sarah's MSE checks for her current MSE. If she is in her home MSE, call request is immediately sent to her current cell location. Cell tower of the current location broadcasts Sarah's number to check whether she is engaged on another call or her mobile is switched off. If everything goes right, Sarah's mobile phone responds to its cell tower by identifying itself. After identification, her mobile phone rings and the call gets connected, then both Michael and Sarah can talk to each other. Ok, now what happens if Sarah is not in her home MSE? So in this situation, her home MSE simply forwards the call request to the foreign MSE. Then foreign MSE follows the same procedure that we just discussed to establish a call connection. Alright, so with that, this wraps up today's topic. Thanks for watching, please subscribe for more videos.